here's a recap of the Elite Eight onward for Division One Women's Tennis in the NCAA Tournament. And I will say this. The number one seed, North Carolina, won their match against the number eight seed, Pepperdine, 4-3. The number four, three seed, I mean four seed, Texas, defeated the number five seed, Virginia, 4-2, despite their number one and two player for Texas losing their match. And that just shows the depth after doubles. The number... Two seed Oklahoma survived against the number seven seed A and M. Four three. The number three seed Duke survived against the number six seed NC State. Four three. The number four seed Texas beat the number one seed North Carolina four two. The number two seed, Oklahoma, survived against the number three seed, Duke. So this national championship was the fourth meeting between Texas and Oklahoma this year. Oklahoma beat them earlier in the year 4-1, then 4-3 in a Big 12 regular season. 4-1 in a national indoor semifinal. But Texas won 4-2 in a Big 12 championship match. In in a, in a tournament. Big 12 tournament, I mean. But as for the national title, not even close. Texas won 4-1. And that only win for Oklahoma was number 6 singles, 6-1, 6-1. And Peyton Stearns for Texas, she crushed that court one player from Oklahoma, 6-0. 6-2. But, but last time when these two players faced each other, Peyton Stearns won 6-0, 6-0. She owns that core one player for Oklahoma. Granted, number, Oklahoma probably would have won a number four singles in the third because they were up a break, 5-2. But you didn't win. The number two singles won the first set. But that went to a third. That remained unfinished. They even had a break lead at number five singles and number three singles. And the second set to try to force a third. That didn't happen. Because Texas won both of those second sets at both of those positions. Seven, six. Seven to four in a tiebreaker. Texas, I tell you what, they kind of proved me wrong. I thought they were not going to win a national championship back to back. But I knew Texas was probably going to make it further than Oklahoma. And granted, they did by winning the national championship. And Oklahoma proved me wrong. Because I thought they were going to lose match one. And they nearly did. Nearly. Because AM took five for sets on Oklahoma. Despite losing doubles. I just think Oklahoma just ran out of gas. Because two minute two four threes in a row in back to back days. Especially the first match was like four hours long for Oklahoma. A little over four hours, so Oklahoma I believe does not lose anybody. But they could lose two players if they don't choose to come back for another year of eligibility. Texas doesn't lose a single player. Maybe except their court one, Penn Stearns, who is good enough to turn pro. Dependent. I will say Virginia will probably lose Emma Navarro. Probably. She's that good to be pro. I'm pretty sure she's the only one. But they might lose another player. I don't know. And granted, we don't know about the transfer portal. Duke, I for sure know they're going to lose Two players in the doubles lineup and one singles lineup. For sure one, maybe even two players. So, yeah. NC State, I'm pretty, I'm not sh exactly sure. But I'll look it up later and type in the description below. So, yeah. And Pepperdine, they're going to lose 
at least one play, two players in a singles lineup. At least two. Anyways, if you like this content, hit the like and subscribe button. I see you guys later. Let's give me a to subscribe some more by the end of this year.